Hello and welcome to another episode of the Cotton Candy Connoisseur. Today I have a limited edition 450 Brewing. Oh yeah, I said brewing. We have a Cotton Candy Slushy XL beer. Uh, Berliner wise, but still a beer. So it's a smoothie style burning wise blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, lactose, and cotton candy floss. Oh yeah. So you know what I typically do whenever I do a little drinking video? I have a questions. I have a 20 questions tag. It is random 20 questions that I have to ask myself and you know, I'll take a sip for every question and we'll just get this show on the road. So first, we have to try the cotton candy booze. Okay. Oh yeah, it smells good. This is like right out of the refrigerator. I made it so, so good. Oh no, it didn't open. <laughs> Maybe make your cans better. Um, okay, so let me just try not to cut my finger or break the nail. Okay. You see that? Ingenuity. All right, so back in action. So I have cotton candy slushy. Uh-oh, I think my dog likes it. All right, let's give it a taste test. Ooh, it's very frothy. Now with this, I definitely get that like beer taste. It's not like a bush light, but like a fancy beer um, taste. I don't really get the cotton candy flavors. I do get the blueberry and the raspberry really strong. And if we're trying to mix those two flavors together, <laughs> definitely you would see that it'd be delicious cotton candy mixed together. So. I think because it's not super cotton candy, but it's such a smooth drink, I'll give it a four. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything else like this? I don't think so. So I think for sure it's uh, worth a shot. If you can get your hands on it, it's not easy to find. And if you can, I was just definitely trying it. And plus, you show up to a party with a cotton candy slushy, you'll be the coolest kid on the block. Now for the second half of this video. We have 20 questions tag, and I am going to go through these questions so you all can get to know me a little bit better. Let's first, we start off with some drink. Okay. A thing you cannot leave the house without. Well, um, as a millennial, or what people consider me to be millennial, I think my phone of course i can't leave house on my phone you never know what you need to record nowadays everything is happening in this world having being connected your location on it's just so important nowadays so my phone i guess and my keys so i don't get locked out <laughs> okay second question favorite skincare brand so I don't know if you've seen my face, but I obviously do nothing with skincare. So I definitely need to get into that. I will probably do some little tutorial trials and beauty skincare videos so you can all see me trial and error and probably fail and then extremely break out um, trying to do skincare with my delicate skin. Favorite flowers. My favorite flower is a carnation. They last the longest, they're super cheap, they come in every color. I just love carnations. Favorite perfume. So my favorite perfume is actually Pink Sugar. I will do a video on this a lot later because it smells like cotton candy. And of course, I want you all to know I have so many cotton candy things that aren't just food or favors. I live and breathe cotton candy. 
And so I will do an episode on my favorite cotton candy scents, what I think lasts the longest, what gathers the most attention. I will definitely do some videos on that as well. Okay, Converse, Vans, or Toms? Vans. I Vans, Vans, Vans. I wear fake Vans from Target because I don't want to pay that much for shoes. But I mean, I, I love Converse, of course, but Vans just looks so much better on my feet. And I think you know, slip on the style checkerboard, they're really nice. So, do you get good grades? Okay, what is good grades? I pass, I have a degree, so that's what matters. <laughs> um, favorite colors my favorite color is actually purple, white, and green. I know, shocker, you think it would be pink and blue, but actually, you know, it might be pink and blue. We'll think about it. Um, do you drink energy drinks? So I know we have a throwback episode. I had the BCAA Bank Energy Cotton Candy. So I guess if I had drink energy drinks, I would drink some Bang Energy um, Cotton Candy and that would be my go-to. But other than that, coffee is the only energy, I mean coffee and tea, that's pretty much all I drink. Do you drink juice? Well, of course I drink juice. I mean, apple juice, orange juice, grape juice, pineapple juice. Juice is delicious and it's really good for you and I don't wanna get scurvy. Do you like swimming? So I cannot swim. I've taken lessons once. I should probably do it again. But with the coronavirus, it's actually probably not gonna take some lessons for a long time. So um, right now I would not jump in a lake or go base jumping, but I always imagine that I wanted to. Do you eat fries with a fork? No, I eat fries with my hands. Fries are finger food. It's like burger and fries, grub pub food. That's all I like to eat. It's actually, the day I'm filming this is National French Fry Day. So I hope you're out getting some French fries today. Um, what's your favorite perfume or cologne? Okay, so we kind of did this. So of course, Pink Sugar is my favorite perfume. I do have a cotton candy body spray. I do have A Thousand Wishes by Bath and Body Works. I do have Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath and Body Works. And then I have a lots of pineapples and apples and strawberry scents. I love to smell fruity, so yeah. Um, do you want to get married later on in life? Oh, it's a loaded question. Um, what is marriage anymore? Um, I'm not even sure. I just want someone to love me unconditionally and I want to be happy and chill and relax and foster a growing and healthy relationship with someone or multiple someone's. So do you get mad easily? This is a yes and no question. So yes, I get mad easily if I've made a point to tell you not to do this. Now, if you, if I did make a point to tell you you can do it, I'm not mad at you. But obviously, if I say don't do this and you do it, I'm gonna get a little salty. Okay, just a little bit. Now I need a drink because I'm gonna get a little salty. Are you into ghost hunting? So I watch Ghost Adventures and I really wanna go to some haunted house and like sleep overnight with like a crew. Maybe I'll do for a video one day, but I've never had the chance to. I'm definitely into it. Ghosts are real. Aliens are real. Full stop. Um, any phobias? So I'm afraid of the dark, but I wouldn't call it a phobia. I can still sleep in the dark, but that's something I am afraid of because, you know, it's just like taking away one of your senses and having to get used to it. Do you bite your nails? Well, obviously not. I have very long nails. Um, they grow and break just kind of regularly. Um, I do a lot of manual work with my hands and working out outside. So my, hand, my nails do break often because of that. Have you ever had a near death experience? Um, yes. So on a roller coaster once in Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, I was on the Apollo's chariot and it only has a strap between your lap. And so, like a little container inside. And so when I was going down, I felt it like unclick. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna fall out. I'm gonna fall out of this roller coaster right now. I'm gonna die today. And I like screamed, I freaked out. I like held it back really quick. And I like shrunk myself as small as possible to push it as far back as possible. So it would re-click. 
And I didn't die, obviously, because I'm here today filming YouTube videos about cotton candy. Do you drink coffee? Yes. Coffee, 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 coffee. From everywhere. I mean, Starbucks and Dunkin', I like them both for different reasons, so I go to both. Of course, shop local. I always go to a local coffee shop at least once a week. And, you know, I make my own coffee usually anyway because I wake up, I work pretty early during the day where shops aren't actually open if they're local. So I usually make my own coffee. And I think that was the last question. That was 20 questions getting to know me. It was really random all over the place. I feel like that was a strange interview about what, what can I ask this person about? So thanks for watching my 20 questions tag. Um, I'm excited to have more of this cotton candy slushy. It was a good hit. It was a banger. I have so many more of these left. I'm very excited. If you can find your own, I recommend getting some. Um, see you next time. This is Connie, your favorite cotton candy connoisseur.